The new West Ham captain to take. And ahead of Goldwoods, and it almost was put in by Mikel Antonio. And he scored at that end here at Selhurst Park last season. And he wasn't too far away from doing the same there. That could be a worry going forward. <clears throat> Kilman on Mitchell. Suchek crashing that back post there. We've definitely got high advantage West Ham here. We can see here just getting over the top of Mitchell. Yeah, Crystal Palace are almost just sitting in that low block, waiting for West Ham to make a split mistake, just like they did there, and try and what? pounce. Finds Eza, now Mateta, he's got three around him, and cleverly finds Eza, who goes for goal, big deflection, and it had Alphonse Ariola worried. Yeah, we can see a bad pass into the middle of midfield, Edward's on it, first thought, can I play forward, getting Eze. Mateta can't quite wriggle free, but leaves a lovely ball back, and for a moment here, Ariola is really scrambling. He does not know where this ball's going to drop. Unfortunate for West Ham. Up on top of the net. Here's Bowen working his way in, Phil. So check to Kudus. Loose first touch from him. He still manages to fire it across. Goal, second go here. And it whistles past the post. Would have done well to beat Dean Henderson at his near post. Just a warning sign from West Ham. Well, we've mentioned West Ham making mistakes. This time it's Crystal Palace and... West Ham pounce, it's Bowen, finds his way through, finds a teammate, eventually comes to Kudos, good defending, this one is just trying to sneak in, pace, power, trying to sneak it in. Also, the problem is, sometimes not the incomings, it's the outgoings and what you're left with. Wharton, first time forwards as he so often does, Ezra for Palace, kept out by the left boot of Ariola. well there you saw just why so many people have been praising Adam Wharton, and that's what he does so well, pushing that ball forward first time. Yeah, he sees Kufal the wrong side of Eze, and Eze just looks to slide it into the far corner. The composed finish, Arioli stands tall. Now Palace again, direct, looking to get the ball forward quickly. Edouard bearing down on goal, but he drags his effort wide. Well, they're catching West Ham out with this approach, but again, they fail to cash in. Oh, that's brilliant by Crystal Palace. They cut through the middle of West Ham. Great touch by Mateta. I'm going to say he hasn't been involved much. And I must say, when Edouard gets away, this is a really poor finish. He would expect much more, at least to work the goalkeeper, hit the target. Corner work short. Wharton to the edge of the box to Ezra. Crashes off the crossbar. Well, that would have been spectacular. West Ham just caught sleeping a touch. And Eber Ezra inches away from a magnificent opening goal. Ezra able to carry it forward. He gets it back first time from Mateta. Edouard's going to go for goal. And Ariola had a good look at that. And it's a comfortable save for the West Ham keeper. Yeah, everything good that comes from Crystal Palace is either Wharton or Eze. And it's Eze this time. On by Suchek, Antonio looking to find Jared Bowen. Suchek will crash it towards goal. And West Ham will have themselves a corner. It's not exactly pretty football here from West Ham, but it's effective. Ends up getting a shot and goal, resulting in a corner. Mark Gehi throwing himself in the way. Kamada. He looks to find Mateta, who pulls out wide and is tracked by Mavropanos. <laughs> over the back of Mitchell there, but the referee happy with what he saw. Now Wambasaka with surge from him, and he drags West Ham into the Palace half. All his support is really running away from him right now, but all of a sudden there's room for Jared Bowen. He lays it into Pakatar, doesn't hit it cleanly. Now Falkrou, can he set his feet? Suchek strike! West Ham into the lead! Here we see perhaps why Aaron Wambasak has been brought to the club. It all started with him. It did indeed. On his return to Crystal Palace, he makes brilliant inroads down this side. He seems as though he's running up a dead end, but this pass here, just inside, just allows Bowen away. Ball there. Pa 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 
Mkhitaryan doesn't quite catch it. Fulcrum can't sort his feet out, but eventually he finds his way to Thomas Suchek, who's back on the edge of the box, where he's more likely to be, where he enjoys being, rather than being that focal point constantly. He likes arriving late. So here, Pakatar just swings at his left. Fulcrum can't sort his feet out. Falls very sweetly. Here's Ezra. Can he find some space? He's crowded out by Rodriguez and now Kilman striding forwards and he rides the challenge of Wharton. He's got Bowen out to his right and now Bowen has the ball. West Ham looking threatening. Jared Bowen looking to make it to. Glorious finish by Jared Bowen. Two goals in quick succession for West Ham United and they are on course to give Julien Lopetegui his first win in charge of the club. It was a brilliant breakout led by Max Kilman and Jared Bowen cashes in and Crystal Palace have got it all to do. They have indeed and it's Fulcrook's run here that just drags Riyad into the centre and just opens this right-hand side up for Jarrod Bowen and once he gets in these positions, he's devastated. Always wants to get on that left foot. Can Kamada just close him down a little bit early because he knows he wants to come inside, but once he does, he makes absolutely no mistakes. You see here, always wanting to get in that left foot. Can I open the goal up? He does. He tucks it into that near post. Pace, power, devastating counter-attack from West Ham United. I think he did too much there, really, Thomas Suchek, in terms of his movement towards the crowd. But just to reflect on what did happen in a game yesterday evening, as that comes back off the frame of the goal, I think. Everybody just seemed to stop inside the penalty area. And all of a sudden, Crystal Palace have had three opportunities in the last three minutes, and they could be right back in this fixture. And now Bowen can stroke it to Pakatar, who has Kudus ahead of him. And he'll only have one thought in mind here, to drive West Ham forward. Now full crew. Flag stays down for now. It's still full crew going for goal. Angle working against him. Gehi. One will drift through to Tyrick Mitchell. Spins up off Wambasaka, who made that brilliant burst which led to West Ham's second goal Ezra he's just going to let fly here and it spins through to Ariola, and he will use the opportunity to eat up some seconds West Ham now just moments away from a first Premier League win of the season there the full-time whistle Julien Lopetegui with a clap of the hands as he gets his first victory in charge of West Ham United they had to ride a few storms in the game but they made the breakthrough midway through the second half Thomas Suchek got them on their way but Jared Bowen with a brilliant second as West Ham broke out there he is Thomas Suchek he set them on their way doing what he does so well and so often arriving in the penalty area at exactly the right time for Crystal Palace a difficult afternoon Eber Eza though almost gave them the lead with a brilliant strike at the end of the first half but that deflected back off the crossbar not to be here for Crystal Palace and plenty of questions coming up you would feel for Oliver Glasner in the days ahead worrying start to the campaign for him and for Crystal Palace beaten here at home by West Ham United this afternoon by two goals to nil